Get Biblical Understanding along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 234 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with the heart. The heart addressed in this series is not the physical organ within our body, but rather the non-physical aspects that pervade humanity, which is at the center of our spiritual and mental life. Only God knows our heart, and from Him alone comes our only true insights. Again, the theme of this series is the heart. Philemon chapter 1, verses 10 to 12. I beseech thee for my son Omnisimus, whom I have begotten in my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me, whom I have sent again, thou therefore receive him that is mine own bowels, that is his heart. Philemon chapter 1, verse 20. Yea, brother, let me have joy of thee in the Lord. Refresh my bowels, that is the heart, in the Lord. Hebrews chapter 3, verses 7 to 10. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Hebrews chapter 3, verses 12 to 15. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, for we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick, that is living, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding. 